just trying to get ready guys and trying to make sure that my camera's gonna work camera likes to cut out anymore I don't know what the problem is always something though I'm hoping that my connection stays excellent which I'm sure it won't we only pay a hundred dollars a month for internet I don't expect it to do well So, we will see if there's anyone that's going to join. Do, 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 do. I didn't do that. Silly, silly people. Do this number right here, guys. <laughs> Gotta try and make it official, right? So official, in fact, we'll do it again. <laughs> oh, yeah! Anyway. Well, let me get out of here. Easy. So, anywho, I could wait for people to join in, but we might be here all day because I don't typically get uh, anyone joining in. I can't help it. Nobody likes awesome content. I do. I like good content. I honestly uh, watch YouTube more than I watch anything. I don't. I don't even watch TV really. I just don't watch much anything. I do watch Buzzer TV. B U Z Z R. It's a station that shows old uh, TV game shows. I love watching that. It brings back memories and uh, a time when uh, things were a lot different than they are now. People can have humor and and uh, tell someone they're fat and not get canceled and uh, just all kind of stuff it's just a different world funner stuff funner stuff we all like to be able to say what we want without getting canceled cancel 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 all right So, let me see here, everyone. Well, it is Sunday evening, 6.43 as I say it. Today did not go as planned. Uh, I woke up and I wanted to just completely chill and have a chill day and relax, be to myself. Uh, get my couple of little household chores done which would have taken me no time which I pretty much got them done but wanted to eat plenty today and rest and relax and chill and and uh, I wanted to live stream some video games and some other stuff just like for hours uh, it wouldn't have been hours but I, in my mind I wanted to do this for hours and just let loose and enjoy my day but As things go in life, something always happens, and I've had a couple of things today happen that uh, put a dampening on the whole day. So, I got one person, one family member who's not doing real well at all, who's in, who got life flighted to a hospital in Jackson, and, and then my oldest son 
we're still, you know, he's still having issues and we're trying to deal with him and not to put too much out there on the table, but, you know, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, love him to death and I'm, I'm trying my best, you know, I'm trying my best to father and uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't coincide with the way the mother looks at things and approaches things. You know, I try to explain that moms and dads are two different beings. They're two different things. So, you know, and I'm a 50-year-old dad. I'm a 50-year-old guy. And I'm not a 20 or 30-year-old guy anymore. And so I see things differently now than I did, you know, many, many years ago. So, anyway, just kind of a lot going on. It kind of destroyed my day. However, I did get to see my oldest boy and my granddaughter, one of my granddaughters. So I did get to, you know, we did visit. There was some laughter and some good times and all that good stuff. So, anyway. Anywho. So, I got a list of some stuff here that I want to kind of talk about. Um, you know, I hate to go ahead and talk about it right now. There's no one on. There's no one watching. But... And then again, I don't want an hour-long video of me sitting here waiting for someone to pop on just so I can feel like I'm not talking to myself. Um, so, let me just check YouTube right here. YouTube. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, we'll go ahead and kind of get on uh, this list of stuff that I have here. Now, it's almost a guarantee that I'm going to leave something out. It's just the way it is. You know how whenever you're talking about something, and then like later on that night or the next day, you're like, oh, I should have, you know, I forgot to say this or I forgot to say that. So, I'm going to try my best to just kind of go over some of these things. And the main topic of, uh, the main topic of this video, this live stream, is really um, the injuries that I have and have uh, sustained over my lifetime, and uh, the effects they have on me, and the effects that they've had on my everyday life, from raising kids, to having a wife, to being active, to working, to working out. You know, to running around the park and having fun and riding bicycles and, you know, uh, it's, uh, we're going to talk about kind of how things have happened and what's happened and to the extent of the pains. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the old ball rolling with the number one thing that has changed my life and that is my chronic bad back. Now... All, all I can ever tell people is, all I can think back is remembering that I was pulling some concrete. I started working construction in February 94 and I quit uh, winter of like November or something like that of 2008. And there was about a year and a half or two years off in there where I tried some other employment, but I went back to, the, uh, he was my brother-in-law at the time and then my sister and him got a divorce but I went back there with him and uh, so uh, and that was early uh, that was like 99 and then uh, a little bit in 2003 ish or four somewhere in there so uh, uh, the best of my knowledge the best that I can just think of and every time I think of well Mike when and how did you hurt your back I was pulling concrete and that's the only thing I can think of uh, we were doing a 20 by 20 slab. I know exactly the one we were doing. I go buy it every day. <laughs> Still to this day, I go buy it every day. And that's the only thing that I can trace this back to is to when my back started hurting. And uh, I've had an MRI done back years ago. Now keep in mind, this was I, I did this in about uh, 1996. Somewhere around 1996, 
we start we got our our house built we built the house we had our one kid that was born in 94 our other kid that was born in 96 and we moved in our new house in September of 96 and it was either September to December when I hurt my back or it was in sometime early in uh, 1997 that I hurt my back it was somewhere in that time frame because I remember laying on the couch in tears in such pain that I couldn't even concentrate I couldn't even think telling my wife that you know I'm not gonna be able to be a good husband a good dad and I can't move and I'm gonna be crippled by the time I'm 50 and I'm just bawling and you know you go from this strong crazy active fast amazing person to now you're this worm the slug of a nothing of yourself and uh, uh, it will beat you down real quick your back uh, your back is the main supporter of your entire body so when your back goes out when you actually have a chronic bad back which means it's 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year that's different than waking up one day and uh my back's a little out let me crack it okay I'm good for the next 20 years it's a totally different uh, thing this has been every day in my life since that time that I've been in pain and I can show you this right now if my camera will pick it up you won't see my face but I can lay in bed on my side and I can try and like pivot my hips like so I know it looks crazy but bear with me I can do like this and it's way down here and it feels like it feels like if I were to do it just enough that it would either snap a nerve or it would snap a bone or it would fix it it's a, a very intense pain you know if you try and like grind your you know try and do that pivot a little bit harder with some pressure that's when it really uh, is nauseating and like I tell people I can reach I can literally do this reach for my water and my back is out just like that or I can go in my gym and I can deadlift 425 pounds which I did yesterday I can deadlift 425 pounds struggle like it's a thousand pounds and my back's fine there's no rhyme nor reason I don't know what it is I'm not gonna spend the money to try and figure it out because I've lived with it this long uh, years ago I mean I, I've been prescribed bottles of pain pills and out of the bottle you know out of uh, all this all the scripts that I've been written I think I filled them twice and I think I've went through maybe one bottle 20 years ago 20 plus years ago I just I never took them because whenever I did try to take them I didn't really feel anything so pain pills out of the question I didn't turn to drugs and alcohol which had crossed my mind a lot uh, it is not a fun way to live and I document it on some of my videos where you'll see me working out and trying to spin on the bike and do my walks and everything my backs out so my back can be like it is right now and, and it's you know it's okay if I do if I do one off movement whatsoever though it's boom it's boom it's at that point 24 hours a day seven days a week and that's hard to get across to people they don't get it because they can see me flipping and flopping around and doing stuff and dancing and I might go outside and run around I can run two miles I can jog two miles I can go in here and work out I can do stuff but if I move even the most minute movement it's out it's, it goes from okay my normal okay-ish to boom boop I'm done and that and and at that point it could either be for the day or it could be for the next two weeks you have that and then you have the next stage which is uh, I need to be picked up put in a car gagged ball in my mouth where I can't scream and then taken to a chiropractor and beat to death um, 
So there's no rhyme, no reason. I don't know what it is. I've had an MRI done back when it pretty much went out. They didn't see nothing. I've had x-rays done. They don't see nothing. I've had CAT scans done. They don't see nothing. I've had ultrasounds done. They don't see nothing. I've been to the chiropractor 500 times. Mike, you haven't been there 500 times. Our records show you've only been here 300 times. Okay. Anyway. I don't know what to tell you. My back is just how it is. And, I, you know, there's some people out there that can't work out and do some of the stuff that I do. And there's some people that can. Uh, we're not all the same. And, and I kind of got into it well, with another guy because he questioned me uh, like I'm lying. Like, you know, you know, your back's not really out. You don't really have a problem. And uh, that didn't go real well. I don't appreciate that being looked at as a, a liar or someone who's, you know, maybe stretching the imagination a little bit or... And, and he's, he's, you know, kind of accused of me or, or he tried to keep saying that it's all in your mind and stuff like that. And I'm like, hmm, that's odd. If I had something in my mind, it sure would not be this kind of pain for 25 years. So anyway, that is the general, uh, that's the big boy. That's, that's a big problem with, my, with me. That's where my ailment started. That's where depression started. It took me a lot of years to realize that, but that's where my depression really started, was once I hurt my back. So, you know, you go from being the big strong guy who's out there working in construction, lifting this and lifting that, and I still did it anyway, um, doing all this stuff to all of a sudden you can't even put your belt on, you know, your tool belt. You can't pick over and pick nothing up, bend over and pick something up. You can't, you know, you're having to take off work and miss work all the time and you know, lay around and you can't move and you got ice on your back and you got heat on your back and you got, you know, it's a miserable life. And anyone who's ever lived that life knows. They're the only people that know. Those people that wake up just once in a while don't know. Hey, how you doing? Uh, the Celtic Grandma. How you doing there? I appreciate you tuning in. We're just kind of going over some of my body ailments, my aches and pains that I have, I get asked a lot of questions about these things. And I don't, I didn't see when you popped in, but I don't know how long you've been here. But uh, we're kind of starting off with the big boy, and that's my back. Uh, again, I, I can only trace it back to I was pulling concrete back in like 96, maybe early 97, and that's when I think it went out somewhere in there. And uh, just kind of going over that. You can go back and rewatch some of that. But that's kind of where we're at right now and how it's a life-changing event uh, from everything. Uh, you know, your your marriage life, raising kids, uh, just everything. And it starts depression coming on and everything. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good here. I had kind of a little rocky, rough day, I guess. A uh, couple of things. Again, I kind of touch on that in the very beginning of the video. Not too much because I didn't want to put too much out there. But, you know, yeah, back problems are not good. It's, it's, a, uh, it's one of the worst things that you'll ever go through. So, I mean, your back is the life force, man. <laughs> your spine has every nerve and everything in your body going through it. And it, it, it can just ruin your whole life. So... All right, so I guess I'm going to move on to another incident that happened. Of course, I, I worked construction for about 15 years, somewhere in there, about 15 years. We'll say it's 15. Uh, I, work, I worked construction from February 94 until about uh, November of 2008. And, of course, that whole time I had my back problem. But uh, uh, we were building my sister and my brother-in-law at the time, uh, their house. And... Uh, we left a sheet of plywood out of the floor so we could come in and up out of the house without having to go out the door and go into crawl space. You know, we could just easily pop down in the floor with a big 4 by 8 sheet not on the floor. So I was under the house and I was coming up out of the house and I was on my knees poking up through the floor, you know, which would be the floor of the house. And he was doing some drywalling. He had one foot on a ladder and one foot on a, a pile of sheetrock. Well, I'm sure you know where it's going. The pile of sheetrock drywall fell over directly on my head 
uh, I don't know how it didn't kill me, to be honest. I don't know how it didn't kill me. But uh, a 12 foot long, half inch thick, you know, four foot tall, whatever. You know what drywall looks like. But uh, yeah, I had 12 sheets of it fall directly down on my head. And uh, I tried to work some more throughout the day, but I was absolutely, I was in more pain than I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, even more so than my back at that time for real so uh, I ended up going to the emergency room and they said I had whiplash concussion pulled muscles and whatever else that I could think of <laughs> they said I had everything and uh, they're not kidding that was one of the worst pains of my life and what's funny is we ended up hanging that piece of drywall uh, in their master bedroom shower uh, and it had a little indention where it hit my head so uh, that's just another element that I've, you know, another incident uh, that's happened to me. And it, uh, you know, that, and that's a lot of reason why I think I have problems with my neck anymore, especially anymore. I just have a lot of problems with my neck being really sore and stiff and kind of going out and, you know, kind of giving me that C3PO kind of, you know, where you like that, uh, you know, you can't move or it kills you. Um, Let's see. Uh, I also had a motorcycle wreck. Me and a friend were, I, I don't know if we'd left work at the time or what, but we were going probably to my house. And we were going down the highway, just a two-lane uh, two lane highway. And uh, we were playing around. I wasn't paying attention. And I was on the throttle and going past him. And he'd go past me. And we were kind of being goofy and acting stupid. And we come up over a hill. And there was a car stopped over the hill fixing to turn up to a driveway like so so I slammed on my brakes I'm fishtailing like so and I'm doing 75 miles an hour I'm fishtailing the car turns like this to go up this driveway I come down I'm hitting I go down the side of the car and my bike kind of goes over here and I fly over the hood and I go and I land in the gravel driveway that they were going up and uh, so by the time I hit the car I've always said that I was probably going 40 45 by the time I hit the car from 75 just a just a guess so uh, it was a it was a hard hit it didn't damage me but it did give me bumps and bruises and I could hardly move, you know, the next day at work when I went in, I was, uh, so, uh, but that could not have been good for my body, you know, yeah, I was younger, I pulled through and the nurse, you know, I finally went to the emergency room for that and the nurse, uh, the nurses were all like, well, you know, you, you better be thankful that you got all this muscle because uh, at the time I was working out then too and I was a little beefier, I don't know if I was beefier than I am now, but. I was beefy. Uh, you better be, you know, glad you got all that muscle right there because that probably saved you from getting really hurt. So, uh, I, I looked out on that one. I had enough time to slam on my brakes and fishtail, and I said, oh, blink, I'm going to die. I mean, out loud. I remember saying it to this day. I remember saying, oh, beep, I'm going to die. Boom. <laughs> And it was just like crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. I don't have a motorcycle anymore, but if I did, I would. I'm 50 now. I'm, I'm not that crazy, so I would like to get another motorcycle. Um, another problem that I have is both my shoulders. I hurt one shoulder at one friend's house bench pressing. And I hurt my other shoulder at another friend's house bench pressing. And it's weights that I've done a hundred times. But it was new benches. And I really wasn't warmed up. And it was just a freak accident, I guess, both times. But both shoulders, within a short time span, got screwed up. Now, uh, I was going to go and have surgery on this, on this shoulder... But uh, the weekend before, I was going to go like that Monday, and the weekend before, 
um, me and my buddy were working out at my house and I had like 300 325 or something like that on the 350 it was it was a big number because uh, I don't know I, I went heavy for whatever reason but I went down with the bar and I heard my shoulder go pop you know like a nice crack and I went up with the weight and put it and uh, put it on the uprights and I sat up and I said you hear that he's like good grief man you, you heard my you know you could hear it and I said oh my god I can move my arm you know I couldn't move it I mean it was like a, a, you know extreme pain and I was like oh my god I can move my arm so I remember going to the doctor to his office that Monday and I'm like I'm healed I don't need surgery <laughs> And he just kind of asked me what happened, and we talked for a minute, and I'm like, I don't know what it was. Something broke loose, scar tissue, a bone, something happened, but it went, you know, that pop, and I was just like, oh, my God, I can move. The left the left shoulder uh, just kind of worked its way out, and, uh, you know, it, it never was as bad as my right shoulder. Uh, I'll go ahead and say this. I know I got it in here somewhere. Yeah, I do. But uh, also, I hurt this shoulder even more so in the winter of 2015. Uh, somewhere between probably February, March, April. Somewhere between February and March, probably. I picked up a new hobby, a new sport, and it was disc golf. You know, where you got the little disc and you're throwing it out in the field and you get it in the little baskets and you know it's a game it's kind of like golf except with a disc and a basket uh, of course knowing me if you know me I'm crazy and I don't just do like these throws and this kind of throw and I throw with all my might and all my shoulder like I'm gonna throw the disc around the world and within the first day I was hurting but I kept going another day and another day and before you know it the shoulder is completely ripped to crap I mean scar tissue all in it yeah I used to play frisbee golf all that oh you used to play that all the time uh, disc golf of course I know it is disc golf that's I think that's what it's called but uh, maybe uh, maybe you call it frisbee golf but uh, yeah it's a great it's fun and I, I used to look at it like it was kinda stupid you know and then once I played it I was like, holy crap, this is fun. <laughs> so you never know until you try something. But that absolutely destroyed this shoulder like for five years, almost to the day, five years. I heard it in like February, uh, March of 2015. And by 2021, February, March, April, whatever, somewhere in there, boom. I was like, I can move my arm. But it was so bad that I remember one day, I don't know if I just got back from a, a bicycle ride or what, but I, I was in the bedroom and I was by the bed and my hand just barely bumped our mattress. That's all it took. And I was just like, Ugh! and I fell on the bed and just like rolling in pain, just like, oh my God, Ugh. you know, uh, such a pain for nothing. You know, and when you're laying in bed playing on your phone and you got a table beside of you and you maybe want to reach over and like grab your phone or you want to get the charger and plug it up or something or uh, I couldn't even reach over there. Like my arm wouldn't even let me do that uh, without being like extreme pain. You know, I couldn't even do that. I couldn't sit back in a chair like this. I couldn't get my arm up here. I would have to leave this elbow up here. I couldn't sit it back like that at all. Or it felt like it was just being ripped apart. Um, and uh, during that five-year period, though, uh, with the disc golf, with the disc golf uh, incident, like an idiot, it was so bad. It felt like someone had a crowbar down in my shoulder, just going, <laughs> just trying to prime my shoulder off my body. Man, woo, boy, it's some pain. Man, it was some, I've been through some pain. I'm just going to tell you. On top of all these ailments, I've also had shingles in my mouth and my, in my uh, jaw here. Shingles. And I've also got gout in my left big toe. And I've had it flare up in my left knee before. 
I don't get flare-ups anymore, but uh, the flare-ups that I have had, yeah, I've had, I've held a knife to my toe. I've went, I've taken a big butcher knife, went to the bathroom, put my foot up on the tub, and I was sitting there with a big butcher knife with, over, over my toe going, uh, I'm going to cut it off. I got to cut my toe off. I, I can't take it anymore. I got to cut my toe. I got to take it off. <laughs> That's how bad the pain was. I've done that. It's no joke. So I've been through some pain. And when I had uh, shingles in my mouth, I had to actually sleep with my tongue between my teeth. I had shingles for a week before they figured out what it was. I went to a dentist here. I went to a doctor. I went to the emergency room. I went to a clinic to another place. I went to like three or four places in my town and nobody knew what I had. My wife said, that's it. Let's just go to the next town, uh, which is... Uh, Jackson. We went to Jackson, Tennessee. Walked in. They said, you got shingles. Gave me some medicine. And by the next morning, I was feeling almost 100% better. So, yeah, I've been through a lot. You know, and a, a lot of people have been through a lot and a lot more, a lot worse. But, you know, and, and this is all getting somewhere. This is all kind of going to get somewhere in a minute or maybe a few minutes. <laughs> So, um, and then something just stupid happened. Uh, one of my workout sessions of my life, I got back into working out in 2007 to uh, about the beginning of 2011. So there was a, a period of time there whenever I was working out really good. Not as good as I do now, but really good. And I had a heavy bag. I bought a heavy bag and I was hitting a heavy bag and La la la, you know, and getting a good workout, and I, and I went to punch the heavy bag one time, and I missed. How do you miss the heavy bag? I don't know. It wasn't even moving. That's why I'm not a boxer. I missed the heavy bag, and I overextended my elbow or hyperextended or something like that, and then that elbow, from that time, it hurt for probably a couple of years or so. Of course, at that time, I'm still working construction a little bit uh, in, in those uh, couple of years there. But, uh, you know, hyperextended my elbow or whatever I did. How do you do that? And that was, uh, that, that was some, a good bit of pain. Uh, and speaking of tennis elbow or elbows, I assume I have tennis elbow. Uh, I got a pain down here, and I also uh, still have some pains with my shoulders that resonate down into my soft tissue and into my triceps, into my biceps. And anytime I'm doing like shoulder presses or bench pressing, there's definite, you know, struggles there. Uh, there is a pain that I'm going through each and every time that I'm working out. So people just don't know that. They might not notice it or see it. But uh, there, there's a pain that I'm going through every day, uh, any time that I'm doing that. And it's not just like an oh golly gee kind of pain, it's uh, this ripping, it, it's hurting. <laughs> but, again, we'll get to that here in just a second. So I got the disc golf injury, I got the hitting, the heavy bag, both shoulders from the different lifts, I got the motorcycle wreck, the 12 sheets of drywall hitting me in the head. Uh, hurt my back pulling the concrete the first thing. Or, oh, I also have arthritis in my wrist, which I assume is arthritis. I've never been tested, but I assume it's arthritis. And it goes up into this area right here to where I can, you like, push up into here. And it's like, oh, it's like almost just numbing, just like, oh, my God. And I figure I have carpal tunnel as well. So it could even be carpal tunnel. I haven't had it tested out or anything, but I know I've either got arthritis or a carpal tunnel. <laughs> so, you know, with the health care we have in the United States, you got to kind of pick and choose what you worry about. And then I talked about the tennis elbow. So, yeah, as far as ailments go, as far as what I have to live through every single day, it's a lot. And really the only thing that I hurt stupidly with working out are my two shoulders from benching at my friend's house and benching at my other friend's house. Stupid things happen 
but that's the only thing I've ever hurt. And honestly, that's a very common injury, uh, especially for guys, because we think we have to bench, and we have to bench a lot of weight. So that's very common. Uh, that's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just my luck, uh, stupidity, um, just luck of the draw. But let me get on to kind of touching base with working out, uh, how I worked construction, playing with my kids, playing with my wife, running around with family, enjoying life the best that I've been able to since I hurt my back and when I was 25. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm able to do it. Uh, I'm very stubborn. I'm driven. Uh, I'm competitive by nature, extremely. And I wish I'd have played sports in school, and I wish I'd have done well in school because I would have done well, and I probably would have went on to professional sports because I'm very driven when it comes to com uh, competition. So. Uh, as far as working out goes, now I did, of course, I stopped working out in like early 2011. Life issues got in the way, and I didn't work out again until uh, early 2000. When? When did I work out? Did I hurt my elbow? Wait, let me get it straight. I started riding my bike in 2016. I got my gym membership. Okay, yeah. This golf injury happened early in 15. And I stopped that and then I went and I got a gym membership. And oddly enough, the very first time, the very first day I went to work out, and I'm talking like 20, 30 pound dumbbells, just easy machines and my shoulder. Boom. Stopped hurting. Uh, but then it moved over to like my arm. Where I'm still suffering today. It started hitting my arms more. And then kind of different areas in my shoulder and my arms. Uh, to the point to where I really couldn't enjoy working out at that time. So I had a one year membership at this gym. And by the time 2016 rolled around. February 2016. I ended my membership. And I started cycling. And I cycled for about five and a half years. Uh, so that was my that was my last effort in the gym was really in that 2015 era. And because by the time early 2016 came around, whenever I finally you know where I canceled my membership, I probably wasn't going because the pain was just you know it's like it's not worth me going. So that's when I started cycling. I bought a bicycle and started riding a bike. Uh, so with the aches and pains that I had with my shoulder that I was going through, you know, that I was talking about where I couldn't even move from disc golf, it, it was kind of back and kind of, you know, it was back and messing with me during that time. And, uh, and I thought, man, I'm never going to get to work out again. I'm never going to get to do anything like that again. I can't even reach back here. I can't do this. I can't. And then... Five years, almost like I said to the day, my shoulder quit hurting to that degree. Now, it's still, it's still got the aches and pains. You know, there's obviously something still going on there. But that degree of pain, that immense, crazy, knock you to your knees kind of pain, I woke up one day and it was gone. And I was like, holy crap, I can move my arm. I can put my arms back. What's going on? At that moment, I started, boom, I'm going to work out. I'm fixing to buy new equipment. I'm fixing to start working out. Let's do this. That was early 2001. And here we are today in 2022. Now, uh, every day I do still hurt. My neck hurts. My shoulders hurt. My arms hurt. My tennis elbow hurts. My arthritis or carpal tunnel or whatever hurts my back goes out it, it, things still happen but I'm pushing through and it's not easy but I do it uh, because I'm on a mission to better myself I've changed my diet I've lost weight I've put on muscle I feel better uh, 
you know, I've turned back the hands of time quite a bit. And so I'm able to work out and push through the pain now, and it feels great. So that's kind of where I'm at today. And I'm happy about it. I'm glad that I'm able to keep going and, uh, you know, find myself because working out's a passion. It's not just something that I do for poops and giggles. Uh, it's a lifestyle. It's a passion. It's something I enjoy. I grew up in the 80s with He-Man, with, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Jean-Claude Van Damme etc etc other crazy people in the business and different things like that uh, professional wrestling you know uh, all this different stuff and that's where my love and passion started with the human body and muscle and and, and just the way everything looks and so finally you know when I became an adult around the age of 25 or so I started tinkering around with working out and then well here I am today many years later off and on a lot throughout my life off and on off and on and then off for a long time and then a short period of time and then off a long time and well here I am I'm over a year in I don't miss I eat right uh, I take care of myself I'm in better health now than I was probably 30 years ago maybe not 30 years ago maybe though I don't know but you know that's a long list of stuff to to work through every day and uh, you know I really I just wanted to touch base with people and I know this is a long video and I hope that people find it somewhat interesting and maybe watch it because it helps you to learn about people and uh, what it takes to go above and beyond and work through things and sometimes it's not about oh you can't or you must not be hurting no sometimes it's about pushing the pain aside and getting it done uh, sometimes you just have to do that. Uh, there's days when I'm working out when I'm in really bad pain. Uh, there's days when I'm working out, spinning and walking when my back is really severely out and I'm literally out there you know, walking down my road looking like a 90 year old man with a cane. That's about what I look like. I'm not using a cane. Not yet. But I mean, you gotta keep going. You get on the bike here, you spin. You can do it. Even when your back is out, you can sit there and spin. And the more you move, the more you're working those muscles, the more you're getting your blood flowing, the more you get oxygen going. And it does help. It might not knock the pain out quick. It might not take care of it right then. But it helps to keep moving if you can. This is coming from experience. I've dealt with this my whole adult life. So I'm at this point now where I realize you got to keep fighting you got to keep pushing through it and yeah there are times when my back goes out to the point that I really can't move like you can't even go to the bathroom you can't do things <laughs> so you do get to that point but you still try to keep going alright so this is just the live stream I wanted to touch base with people I hope you watch it I hope you kind of learn something about me if you have any questions concerns uh, if you have any problems if you need to vent let me know your problems in the comments uh, that's what we're here for we're a community we're supposed to care about one another and that's what I want my channel to be about uh, a community that cares so anyway I'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna go make me some nighttime French vanilla coffee and try to ease my night out with a little bit of relaxation okay because it's been kind of a rough day Whew. All right, so tomorrow's Monday, so starts my workout back, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and maybe next Sunday, I'll be different. Guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, too. The Body Beatdown, me, Michael, your incredible host, and don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Thank you. Love you, and we'll see you next time. Be awesome.